Yo, what's up? Alright, welcome to another episode of today's engineering drawing video. Well, voila, voila, this is me. In case you haven't seen me for a very long time, hi, it's me. Chulami. Well, today we'll dive into something very special because we're going to be looking at square knots. Not just square knots. Is it square knots? No, not square knots. We're looking at square trace face. I'll teach you how you can just square trace. You, you are watching this video. You, you want to subscribe to my channel, Abi? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's good, See, I'm not, I'm not doing anything today unless you like, like this video. Oh, yeah, give me thumbs up. Then click the subscribe. Please. Hey, now that you have subscribed, what happened to you? Share you don't die. I mean, share you. You are still alive, right? Mm. I think you are still alive. Is it, is it better? I think I. Say they wise. I believe you are still alive, right? Sharp. All right. So join me. Let's go and do some drawing. Our length is equal to one twenty millimeter. Okay, and then our pitch was equal to thirty millimeter. Our theta is our pressure angle, ten degrees, and then our diameter was equal to fifty millimeters. With this parameter, first of all, measure pressure. our diameter, which is fifty in millimeters. A centimeter that is five cm. 5 cm okay and then at this point i will then draw a straight line of 120 millimeter of length so we cannot join these two points together and then join the bottom line two together Now let's proceed. Now take note. We were given that the pitch is 30 millimeter. Now to know um, the thickness of this our thread, so let's call it our thread thickness. Let's call it C is equals to 0.5 P, which is equals to 0.5 times 30, which will give you 15 millimeter. That is 1.5 cm. Okay. This was just calculated here. 1.5 cm okay but that's not withstanding i will measure 1.5 wow this is huge 1.5 and 1.5 and i'll carry it up i can still make the, the same thing to here One point five. Just make these lines faint, okay? Don't make them too thick. Until we are done with the whole thing. All right. Now, if you check, um, our pitch is thirty. Okay, so the distance between each consecutive point should be thirty. But the thickness of this of our trade is actually fifteen. So what we're gonna do is that from a certain point here. We're going to measure 15, 15 each. So this is 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. So here we have here. This is. Then we have. From here we have 15. Here yeah, 15, 15, 15, and 15. All right. So we'll also do the same thing for this part. So having done this, and this, so this is what we're going to do. From this last point, okay, we're going to draw something like this. From this ending of this part to the first of this one here, draw a line. Please, this should be faint, kind of. From here, just like that, draw a line. Okay. Alright. After doing this, then we can now take in. Watch what I'll do. I'll take in this first part here. I'll skip this. Take in this side. Skip this. Take in this side. Skip this, and then I'll take in this side. I'll do the same thing for this part here. I'll take in here. Skip this. Take in this part. Skip. Take in this part. Skip. And take in this part. Once I'm done with this, I can go ahead and tick in other parts. 
Okay. Now, after doing this, we want to get our middle point. So, this is um, 50. So, half will be 25 and 25 here. So, I'll just do this. Right, done. Now, please take notes. I'll place my ruler on the bottom of this one to the top of this one. That is something like this. Okay. And then on this line I drew here. Okay, this one I, that I see should be faint. I'll mark and mark. I'll do the same thing for this one. Mark. Mark. I'll continue just like that. Mark. No, mark. Now, if you check, so now I have um, higher proportion here, small proportion here, small proportion here, higher proportion here. So you're going to join, draw a straight line on this line already, on the one that have higher proportion. So this part, uh, higher proportion. So we'll draw the line there. This part so is longer or bigger. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. This side is smaller than the other side, okay? But for this part now, is this downside that is longer? I have higher proportion. So we'll draw the thick lines there. Okay. Now, once you're done with that, we will then join from this point to our middle point. From this point here, okay? So our middle point, which is in the center. The same thing for this part and for this part here. So we apply the same mechanism for this side. So from here to the center, from here to the center, from here to the center. Okay. So once this is done, at this top here, okay, to the bottom here. So from top here to the bottom, now we'll join this point to this side. I'll we'll just stop it here. Okay, do the same thing here from top to the bottom. Keep it like that. Then from the top to the bottom. Okay. Now also do the same thing too for this other part. Sorry. What means? So from top to the bottom. From the top to the bottom. Then from this top to this bottom. Okay. So we are almost done. Next thing we want to do is that we just want to draw a line from here. In this part here. All the way down. Just taking this part here. The same thing too for this side. We are done. So this is how you can basically draw a square knot given these parameters. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Please endeavor to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode. Bye for now. Alright, well thanks for watching today's video and see you guys in the next episode.